Hang on now, baby. Take it slow. Take it slow. Hello, and welcome just, to... Just take it slow. <coughs> Hi, Tom Newman. Can you take this, please? No. Thank Hi. you. You're gonna live? Yeah. No, I'm on solid ground. Man, honey, I can't tell you how grateful I am. You wait until you got out of it before you puke. No, I'm gonna puke. Be nice. I love you. David, stop it. David, knock it off. Stop David, it. David, don't bug your sister. What do I do? David, don't bug pretty girls because they won't pay attention to you later on in life. Uh, the car's right there. Great. Is that our ride? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Who wants front seat? Me. All right, you got it. Jump in. All right. Got it? Yeah. Okay, come on, Jess. How do you get in? You just climb up, Jess. Dad, I'm wearing a skirt. Jess, I'm not gonna look. I'm your dad. Let's just jump, jump in here. We'll be here all day for crying out loud. Look at that. David, look at the zebra. Look at the zebra. See it in there? Look, right through there. Yeah. So is everyone having a good time? David? Yeah, it's awesome. Good. Jess? Hello? I'm sorry, what's your name? Mike. Mike, Mike, how far is it uh, to Lake Kadimba by Chopper? Oh, about two hours. They'll come pick you up in the morning, though. OK. Hey, David, look over there. Look at that. Jess, hey, sweetie. What? Look! So what? I see one at the zoo. <laughs> Look at her! It's pathetic! Could that bathing suit be any skimpier? My god! Somebody needs to tell her she's not 16 anymore. Hey, not so loud. You're talking too loud. So what? Hey. Mm. Hmm. It's paradise. I told you so. That gives you something wonderful. Yeah. Mm. You like that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> My God, don't tell me they're going to have sex in the pool. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. David, try this. What is it? Well, the Zulu call it Itibani. Itibani? Yeah. What does that mean? Warthog. Warthog? Check it out. I think you like it. Yes. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> chicken? <laughs> Tell the warthog that. Just want to try some? No, thanks, Dad. I'm your daughter, the vegetarian. Right. I don't eat characters from The Lion King, especially not Pumbaa. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, nothing. I, I just thought it was funny, that's all. Well, it's not, okay? Hang on, hey, 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 hey. Let me do it. Jess, you gotta cut your old dad some slack here, honey. What's going on with this? I hate it here. Okay. I hate the dust, I hate the heat, I hate the stupid animals, and... And? Why did you have to marry her? Jessica, I fell in love with her, I love her. But I thought you loved Mom. I do love your Mom, Jess, but not the way that married people do. See, sometimes things change, people change. Your Mom is okay now. I love you. I love Mom, and I want it to stay that way. I, I know you do, but it's not going to stay that way, honey. It can't stay I that way. I want to go home. I know you want to go home, baby. You can't go home. Now, look, you got a perfect opportunity just to get to know Amy a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't to... want to. I want to go home. 
She doesn't want to be your mother. She doesn't want to be your best friend. She just wants a chance. Honey, you just give her a chance. Oh, baby. I want to go home. I just want to go home. I think this was a mistake. What was a mistake? Coming here, this trip, forcing it. Honey, you two guys had to get together sometime. I mean, how long are you gonna put it off? Look, we're married and she's just gonna get used to it. I mean, what can I say? She's a 14-year-old teenage girl. Yeah, she's scarier than any animal out here. I promise you that. <laughs> Frightening, but she'll get over it. I yeah. promise you. What can I do to make it better? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do to make it better? Well, the Elan baby has a long nose and it has four legs and the gazelle has, I don't know, the same thing. What the heck? There he is. Hey! Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well in yourself. It's Brian, right? Yeah, that's right. Good morning. Good Sleep morning. well? Yeah. Good. So, you ready for our game drive? Why does it have to be so early? It is the best time to view the animals. Once the sun's up, it's gonna just get way too hot. I'd rather be sleeping. Oh, I don't think so. So, let's keep going. Come on. Let's do it. I wish you were coming. I work. Mm. You play. Mm -hmm. I love you. Can I sit in the front? Can he sit in front? Sure. After you, give Dad a hug. All right. Watch your head. OK, now, the two of you, try against all your natural instincts to have a nice time. OK? Don't bug your sister. Bye-bye. This should be fun, right? Guys, take a look. That over there, that's the Crocodile River. It's not much of a river, is it? You should see it off the first summer rains. It's teeming with wildlife. Are there crocodiles? Sure. Are we actually going to see some animals, or are you just going to talk about them all day? Well, uh, how about we do some off-roading, then? I thought we were off-roading. No, I mean off-off-roading. Hold on, guys. Buddy. I gotta go. Go where? Go. <laughs> All right. Hold on. So you said you've got to go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, no way. What's the matter? Take it. No, thanks. Why? I don't need to pee. Come on, then, let's go. Whoa. Brian, do you think this is a good idea? With him like this, I think it's a very good idea. I mean, for safety reasons. I've got the rifle. He'll be fine, and so will you two. We'll see you now. All right, so let's go find the bush for you to go do what you need to do. Is that OK? Yeah. They won't see you, I promise you. You'll be fine. Go behind this tree over here. Give me a shot when you're done, and I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out. Um, excuse me? What's up? I don't have any toilet paper. But you've got grass. Use it. Grass? David, you in Africa. In Africa? What is it? Look, Jessica, I know this is hard. It's hard for both of us, but if we could just... Something's wrong. I know. That's what I'm saying. No, something is wrong!
Backwards together. David! 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 Why is it working? Hey, Jess. Do something! south here take a look at this We're talking about here and mm -hmm. here yeah. okay Signal. Great. We're screwed. We're not screwed. In case you haven't noticed, our guide was just eaten by a lion. You don't think we're screwed? You're just as stupid as my mother said you are. And we're lost. We're not lost. My dad will find us. Hell, we're already off the main road. I don't know. The follow the tracks. When we don't show up at the lodge, they'll they'll find us. We'll be dead by then. 
They're gonna eat us. No, honey, no. They're gonna eat us. Not gonna eat us. Your dad is gonna find us. They're gonna follow the tracks, okay? <laughs> It's gone. All of them? Yeah, all of them. It's okay, David. Come on. Come on. What about the ranger? He's dead. Dead? Then how are we going to get out of here? We're not. Jessica. We need to get the rifle. No one's getting out of the car. But we need it. I don't care. The answer is no. I'm thirsty. I know. But we only have half a bottle of water. I think we should save it. Yeah. Have a sip, okay? Jess, you want some water? You still have to go to the bathroom? No. Just go away. Amy, I'm hungry. Yeah, I know. 
first thing we'll do when we get back is get a big stack of pancakes, okay? And a hamburger. <laughs> Double quarter pounder. A triple with fries. David! Jess! Mr. Newman? Hi, Mike. It's about your family, sir. Why don't you close your eyes? We should try to get some rest. Can we keep the lights on? Well, I don't want to kill the battery, hon. What will we need it for after tonight? He said they were going to find us in the morning. They are going to find us, but I don't know how long the battery will last, and we might need it in the middle of the night. Are they still there? Hey, David. It's okay. Come on. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. We're in the car. Nothing's gonna happen. It's okay. We're okay in the car, okay? I'm really sorry, Mr. Newman, but there is nothing more that we can do right now. At least not till morning. I mean, if they're not back by then, we will start searching. What are we supposed to do until then? Just sit around with a thumb up our ass? Uh, I don't think you have much of a choice there. Um, our chopper doesn't fly at night. Then why aren't we searching on the ground? We were trying. Ma'am, why aren't we in a vehicle searching on the ground? We are, but a couple of torches aren't going to do much. We really do have to wait until first light, I'm afraid. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Look, wait. Um, there is someone that I know of who could possibly help you. Echo Charlie Zero. This is Leopard's Race Lodge. Over. Crawford, are you there? Got you there, shoot. Good luck. Hello, Mr. Crawford. My name is Tom Newman. I'm a guest at Leopard's Rest Lodge. Uh, my wife and two children have been missing since this afternoon. Missing? Yes, that's right. They were on a game drive, and they haven't come back yet. That's nice. Try the police. No, no, no. Uh, the, the police aren't going to get here till tomorrow morning. Sorry. Can't help you. If you want a guided hunt, I'm your man. If you want to find somebody, call the rangers. I'm with the rangers now, Mr. Crawford. I'm talking to you from the ranger radio. Then I'd wait till after the rain. Hello? Rain? What rain? Hello? Rain? What rain?
What are you doing? Close the door. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Okay. Just be quick, okay? Numbers, so just keep in charge, and I'll phone you when we find them. Phone me? I'm coming with you. Sorry, there's only room for two in there. Well, what am I gonna do? Stay here? There's coffee in the kitchen, all right? I'll call you. Are you kidding? Where do I find this guy, Crawford? or something. Get him first, buddy. Come I'll on. go. No, Jess, no. You're staying in the car. What are you talking about? The lines are gone and I'm much faster than you. That doesn't matter. I'm going and that's final. Nothing you say is final. Okay. When this is all over, you and I are going to sit down and have a long conversation. But until then, you stay in the car. Get out of here, right? Okay. Be back in the blink of an eye, I promise.
Don't get your hopes up. You think you can handle anyone. But you don't know this guy. He's a good hunter, though. He's the best in the region. He doesn't know a thing about people. Now, this is it. Wait for me. Well, like I said, he's nuts, man. You want to do this? You're on your own self. Hey! 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 Mr. Crawford! Mr. Crawford! Anybody home? Mr. Crawford! Mr. Crawford! Mr. Crawford! I'm Tom Newman. We spoke last night on the Rangers radio. That's right. The Rangers find your family? No, they just started looking this morning. <coughs> Well, I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Well, exactly. I mean, that's why I'm here. I was hoping maybe that you'd give me some... Son of a bitch. Now, I told you, I lead hunts for the big five. Not search parties for wives and kids, pal. If you can track a leopard, I am sure the three American tourists will just be a walk in the park for you. You're gonna go downhill appealing to my ego, friend. Well, how about I appeal to your wallet, friend? Mr. Crawford, I'm the hydroelectrical engineer supervising the building of the new dam in this province, and I have money. Now, my family's been at large for more than 24 hours, and I'm sure that must just resonate with you a little bit. I mean, I'm sure that just must strike some small chord in you, and praying that it does, I am prepared to pay you whatever the hell you want. If you just... If you just help me find my family. Oh, no. now. By now your dad knows we're missing. He probably sent somebody to find us. Who? I don't know, the lodge people. How are they going to find us? What do you mean? Well, they'll be looking for us off the main road. Somewhere close to it, but now we're nowhere near it. Maybe we should just get out of the car and try to find our way back. Yeah, except for that we have no idea where we are. And they'll have no idea where we are if we stay here. We're not going to take any chances as long as we stay in this car, we're safe. And lost. Fine, we're lost. We're not leaving this car. Why, because you say so? Because it's safe, Jess. Because your father is gonna find us. And yeah, because I say so. You think he's gonna find us? Yes, I do. What if he doesn't find us? He will. And if he doesn't? He will, Jess. What if my dad doesn't my find dad us? Damn it, he will! <laughs> What are we looking for? Smoke! Vultures in the sky? You'll not when you see it. I mean, we're looking for some kind of trail or something, Mr. Crawford? Any tracks that would have been left have been washed away by now. Of course the roads are empty, you rabbit. It rained last night. You chop in on the ranger frequency? Uh, we're going to drop in uh, periodically and just uh, fill in the gaps for those clowns. And what exactly are the gaps, Mr. Crawford? Well, you know, they want a quick rescue, so they've gone up into the air. The problem with that is that they might fly right over your family and not even know it.
you doing? I'm fine. Yeah? You need some water. Yeah, I know. We all do. But he really needs some. Let me go find some water. Are you crazy? What about the lions? Well, we haven't seen them all morning. Doesn't mean they're not out there. Fine. What are you doing? There's a little water here from the storm. It was a good idea. What is it? A helicopter. Hey, Jeff! No! Let go! Of what me. did I tell you? What if they can't see They'll us? They'll see me. us, okay? We're not getting out of this car. There's no sign of them at the Crocodile River. We're going to check the Latapa Trail to the secondary gate. It's leaving. The lion, they attacked us, and they killed our guide, and we had no Jessica, guide. Jessica, why don't you go to the car? They don't understand a word I'm saying, do they? Go. Lock the car. I think. What are they doing? Skinning the lion. That's disgusting. Yeah. So I don't understand why you're vegetarian. 
So they're gonna help us, right? I don't know. They didn't seem to be too concerned with us, did they? And I don't know how often this happens out here, but you would think we would be of greater interest to them. Maybe they know where we can find some water. Yeah, maybe. Put your sweatshirt on, okay? David, you lock the door when we get out. Do you have any water? Any? Water. Uh, like. Who can I know? I shall hand. Oh, do you see me? I can't see my hand. 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 Can you help us? Yeah, I can't see my hand. I can't see my hand. Here. Water. What water? Yes, yes. We need water. Please. Please. I'm. 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 I know. Hey, come. You speak English. Oh, what do you think you're doing? I'm going to get water for my brother. One of us needs to stay here with David, and one of us needs to go with Knife Guy here. You have a bad ankle. Look, I, I just don't think this is a good idea. I... Amy, you have to trust me. It'll be fine, okay? It'll be fine. Are you sure this is the right way? Is it a lot further up ahead? Yeah. Anything that I can carry? Carry back? The water? The water? Carry back? Carry? I can't even imagine. Okay. 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 Um. What about the other one? You cut it up.
Scat. Scat. Lion dung. Okay. Judging by the consistency, he's eaten recently. It's hard to tell what exactly. Okay. You know, since the drought set in these grounds, I've had a ferocious appetite. So either he's eaten a gazelle, which is good, because he won't be so hungry. Or? Or he's eaten something else. Like a human? And judging by that temperature, he dumped that a couple of hours ago, <clears throat> which means he's pretty far away now. So what do we do now? Now, now we set up camp. Camp? That's right. Because there is not a ranger alive that can find your family once the sun goes down. Mr. Newman. I read it in some wildlife magazine or something. Hell, I can't remember where I read it, but it's rare that they attack people, right? I mean, I mean, what I read was is that they're more afraid of us than we are of them, right? Bullshit. A hungry lion will eat anything.
Amy, are you awake? No. Me too. My iPod's dead. Sorry. Amy. Yeah. How'd you meet my dad? Jess, I don't think I want to get into that right now. I just want to know. on a plane. Mile High Club. The Mile High Club? <laughs> Jeez, sorry. Go ahead. I was sitting two rows behind him. We were on a flight to Chicago. And halfway through the flight, he came back and asked if he could sit on the MTC next to me. He approached you? Mm-hmm. Well, what did he want? I just started talking. Before I knew it, the captain had switched on the fasten seatbelt lights for landing. What did you guys talk about? Just things. His life, my life. Things. And then? And then we landed. And... The thing was, your dad had a connecting flight to New York, so you can imagine how surprised I was when I saw him as I was getting into my cab. He got off his flight? Yeah. Yeah, he had a white lily. Just a single white lily, and then he asked me out to dinner. How cheesy. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't fall for things like that, but... God, he was just so... Persistent, you know? Yeah. Just your parents were separated when I met your father. I promise you that. I would never have gone out with him if he was married. I wouldn't be sitting here right now if he had been. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Amy, what is it? I don't know. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Amy, I can't see anything. I know. It's <laughs>
Amy, it's been two days and two nights. What if nobody comes? Tom's coming. What if he can't find us? Then we wait. Wait to starve. We don't have a lot of options. We need a place where rescuers can find us. Yeah. How do you plan to fend off the lions, huh? Maybe they're full. Maybe they're full? Maybe they found someone else to eat. Maybe they've given up. Maybe they've... Yeah, maybe they're just waiting for us to expose ourselves. We need food. We're dehydrated. And our one source of protection, the stupid car, is falling to pieces. At some point, we're gonna have to get out of the car and go find help. So our only choices right now are to starve to death or be eaten. I don't want to die here. I won't let you die here. What are we gonna do? Gotta do the best with what we got, right? We need to barricade that window, right? So I want you to just be careful with this. I want you to cut the seat belts and somehow secure those seats in front of the window, okay? Okay. When you're done, let's cut up this carpeting and put it in front of the windows, shades. It's too damn hot in here. What about me? What can I do? You can help me take inventory, okay? Would you go through every pocket, every bag, every compartment? I want to know exactly what we have to work with. Mr. Crawford, Mr. Crawford. Over there just pulled his foot off. David, stop looking. But it pulled his foot off. David! Okay, why don't you show me the inventory, huh? Come on. Well, I found two black pens, an owner's manual, a toolkit, some tissues, a road map, rubber bands, and cough drop wrappers. And I also found this. That's not mine. Yeah, it is. David, no, it's not. Oh, yeah? Then whose is it? It's mine, okay? Sometimes I smoke when I'm nervous or stressed, and I was nervous coming here, and... I mean, sometimes you guys stress me out, so... <laughs> I guess we can be a little overwhelming at times. Yeah, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thanks. <sighs> okay, let's put this stuff away. <clears throat> Mr. Crawford, that is... that is not a gazelle. <clears throat> So what are we looking for? What are we doing? The rest of this guy. Just stay tight. We might have some bigger company. <laughs> That's strange. What? They all just left. Like 
like they got scared or something. Scared? Is that a car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is a car. It must be on the other side of the ridge. That damn trail's gone cold, man. Let's get back to the Jeep, keep driving. Now pitch camp, tomorrow we head west. Pitch camp. Pitch camp, tomorrow we head west. But you said the Rangers are covering the West. Well, there's no point in covering this area anymore. Crawford, you said we're covering the area that the Rangers aren't covering. Newman, have you ever taken heat before, pal? Have you? Because you better come to terms with the fact that we might never find them. OK, well, we need to get out of the car and make some noise. What about the lion? What if he's still down there? He's gone. OK. OK, I'll go to the ridge. What are you talking about? Amy, you can't. What about your ankle? I'm going, okay? Uh, absolutely not, Jess. You have no say in this. Jess, please, not now, okay? I'm not gonna lose you. Okay, well, here, take my shoes. Hey, more support. Jess. There's no time, okay? You tourists, you come here and you stay in your posh tents by the pool. And you go back home and you tell about your adventure stories like it was a trip to the zoo. Well, out here, you're the zoo, pal. And you better look this thing in the eye. Mr. Crawford, with or without your help, I'm gonna get in that piece of shit vehicle and I'm gonna scour every goddamn inch of this continent until I find my family. Newman. Newman! I think we... Newman!
A what? Tom! Don't move! What? Don't move, Tom. Shoot it, Mr. Crawford, please. I don't have a shot, pal. Run to that tree and just climb up, okay? But only when I say so. Okay? Okay? Tom! No! I say so! I want you to get from underneath this car and run! The kids are going out the front door! I want you to go with them! Let's do this, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go home.